He went and did it again. We worked so hard building that fence, and it's useless. By the time Flag grows a pair of antlers, he'll be able to jump over a fence eight feet tall. Do you really think so? Mm-hmm. Pa, I'll make the field just like it was before, and I'll build an even higher fence, I promise. I... Jody, there ain't no way in the world you can build a fence around the entire field. Yes, I can. I'll do it. I'll stay up all night. Oh, please. Please, Ma. No, Jody. It just ain't gonna work. We keep planting the seedlings and he keeps eating them up. I'm tired of this. Enough is enough. It'll enough. work this time. I know it will, Ma. Please, please. Jody. Whoa! Benny, <laughs> how's your arthritis today? Well, it could be better and it could be worse. Yeah. Looks like you got your family all fenced in, Jody. Hmm. <laughs> Come here. I brung this here letter for you. Here. Uh, this is Butterwing's writing. Yep. I found it under his mattress this morning when I went to go and clean out his room. Dear Jody, if Flag ever eats your corn seedlings again, don't worry about it. You can have mine. I've grown some in back of the barn that no one knows about. Butterwing. After I found this letter this morning, I was struck with the feeling that Butterwing knew he wasn't going to live very long. Shall we take these corn seedlings with us, Lim? Of course. We don't want to go against Butterwing's wishes, do we? Thank you, Lim. I'll take these corn seedlings home with me right now and plant them. <sighs> Huh? Racket. He's been coming around here a lot lately. I think he misses Fodderwing. Here, Racket. Come here. I don't reckon Racket is ever going to stop coming around this place. Fodderwing raised him since he was a newborn. If you ask me, animals raised by man are a problem. They keep on coming back even if you don't want them. Huh? Oh, hiya, Mr. Forrester. Jody, how would you and Father Wing like to try your luck fishing this morning? Huh? Uh. Pretend to go with him, Jody. Old Pa seems to have lost his mind since Father Wing died. Sure we would. Father Wing and me would love to go fishing. Good. I'm sure he'd enjoy it. Well, get him, Jody, but don't stay out too long, because he just got better. Huh? Sure. Jody, those seedlings can wait till tomorrow. You might just as well go and spend the day with Fodderwing. Thanks, Pa. Come on, Fodderwing. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Jody! <laughs> hey! Butterwing, slow down! Butterwing, well, where should we cast our lines? Okay, we'll try over there. <laughs> now I'll put your line here. And I'll fish right next to you. We'll just see which one of us catches the first fish, okay? Flag! Mm. Where have you been and why did you go and eat those seedlings after I told you not to? If you'd only show a little patience, we could all eat corn together this harvest. Mm. Are you listening to me? Are you? Go uh, on, get out of here. I'm sick of you, Flag. You understand me? Uh, get out of here, now. I never want to see you again. Huh? Uh. Uh. It's a big one. Lad, look what Fodderwing caught. 
Otterwing, you're still a darn good fisherman, even if you are in heaven. And you caught the first one. I'm afraid you're just going to have to lay low for a spell, Penny. Otherwise, you may never walk again. Are you sure? Of course. I knew what was really happening with Fodderwing, didn't I? And you knew he wasn't going to make it? Yeah. It wasn't easy telling Pa Forrester. The poor man's taking it real hard. Here, this medicine should last you. I won't be seeing you for a month or so. I got to go help a clinic out in Jacksonville. That long? Don't you worry, Ori. Your husband only has arthritis. It ain't going to kill him. Mom! Sounds like your son Jody's home. Look. You mean to tell me Fodderwing caught more fish than you did? Yep, even though he's in heaven, he still caught four big ones. I gave them to Mr. Forrester. I knew he'd appreciate them. I'll bet that made Mr. Forrester real happy, didn't it? Yeah, he didn't want me to go, and he said I should stay and have dinner with Fodderwing and him. He shouldn't be so forgetful at his age. Oh, he just can't accept the fact that his son is dead. Well, I'd better be going. Jody, don't you come down with anything while I'm gone, boy. Thanks for your help. Yeah! See you later! Here, Ma. Huh? Uh, I wonder where Pa could have put them. What are you looking for, Jody? The corn seedlings that Butterwing raised for me. There's still enough light. I can plant them right now. Your Pa said he wants to have a talk with you about that. He wants to talk? 